This is a quick guide to using Customs Warehousing to store the goods and delay duty payments. Customs Warehousing is a process that enables non-UK products to be stored in the UK duty-free. When the commodities are released into free circulation, duty becomes payable. Additionally, a warehouse may be authorized as a tax warehouse. If the warehouse is not a customs and tax warehouse, excise duty will be charged when the products are received. Customs warehousing might be advantageous for importers. It provides a storage facility that defers the payment of duty and import VAT until the commodities exit the customs warehousing procedure or enter another customs procedure. There are two types of customs warehouses. A public warehouse is operated by a business to store goods from other individuals or companies. They act as a warehouse keeper, while you act as a depositor. A private warehouse is one that you operate to store your own items. You are the manager of the warehouse and the depositor. For storing your goods in a customs warehouse you will be accountable for the following. Properly declaring your goods, if you use an agent, you must provide them with clear written instructions on how to declare your goods. Ensuring that goods are delivered straight to the warehouse specified on your declaration within five days of customs clearance. Providing the warehouse keeper with a complete customs declaration. Ensuring that the warehouse is approved for the type of goods you wish to deposit. It also includes ensuring that the warehouse can accept chilled, frozen, or special storage requirements such as chemicals. Ensuring that your goods are correctly declared upon removal from the warehouse. Now we look at major ways of removing your goods from a customs warehouse. Releasing goods to free circulation. When you place warehouse items into free circulation, you are discharging or removing them from customs warehousing, and you will be responsible for any duty owing. To remove the products or declare them to another procedure, you must file a customs declaration. You will receive an electronic notification with the entry number, and you may remove the products once you have completed your declaration. Releasing goods to another customs procedure. No costs will apply if you transfer your products to another customs procedure, such as inbound processing or re-export them directly from the customs warehouse. Moving goods to another customs warehouse. You can move commodities within a single authorization where it covers multiple locations, for example, London and Birmingham. Or you can move goods between different authorization holders. Removing goods as a new finished product. When commodities are removed from a warehouse, they might be classified as individual objects or components of a finished product. The components must be presented in quantities sufficient to produce a specified quantity of finished products. Moving goods to duty-free stores, ships or aircraft. You can transfer commodities from customs warehousing to duty-free stores for passengers and crew on ships or aircrafts departing from the United Kingdom. Retail sales in a customs warehouse. Retail sales are permitted in a customs warehouse solely for the following purpose. Persons who travel outside the United Kingdom. Individuals covered by diplomatic and consular arrangements. Members of foreign organizations. Members of NATO forces. Remote and online clients, where goods are collected and shipped on demand. Paying duty and import VAT. When you release your products to free circulation from a customs warehouse, you must pay any applicable customs duty and import VAT. To determine the amount of duty you must pay, you will need the quantity of product removed, tariff value of goods and categorization of products. Filing your customs declaration is now frictionless, smoother, more reliable, and swift with customs declarations. For more information, please visit our website www.customs-declarations.uk